Omagege entered an agreement with obedience to campaign for P2B. Dr. Cairo Ojogbo says, Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, Dr. Cairo Olujogbo, has alleged that the Deputy Senate President, Ovie Omagege, entered an agreement with the obedience and the State to support P2B, the Labour Party candidate in the presidential election. The Delta APC chieftain accused Ovie Omagege of working against the long-term aspiration of Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tirimbo. He alleged that Tirimbo not getting 25% in the state was because of the anti-party game played by Omar Gege. He explained further that the obedient in Delta did not want Omar Gege to display the background agreement between both parties. And that is why posters of Obi and Obi Gege were destroyed in the major cities of the state. Dr. Kara claimed that the party at the center has seen the evidence of anti-party played by Omar Gege in his pursuit to be Delta State governor. He said, by December 2022, Omar Gege entered an agreement with the OB that he, to campaign for P2B in Delta State so that the governorship elections come, P2B and his people will work for him. The B people were very embarrassed that Omagegi had to post tax of himself and P2B. They went and cut off P2B in the poster. That's the hallmark of anti-party. If you look at the photograph he took with the brilliant, I reported it to the party at the central that Omagegi is not working for Bola Turnbu. And you could see that Turnbu could not get 25% and that started because of Amir Gigi. Okay. Now, let me say, let me tell you, uh, um, I don't know how true this story is, so, but this story is sounding very fake to me. Even this post that said, gone is looking fakeish to me. I'm telling you. Ha. An alliance. Obedience and APC. <laughs> you see? Anyway, it's, 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 in Delta State to rig the 2023 election, which everyone knows is cleared. He carry go to media houses for lies and propaganda in order to vindicate himself for the bad English reply of Arise Television dealt with him last time he appeared on Arise via Zoom. I did not know he even awarded him doctorate degree. He speaks like an illiterate that that very day. I was ashamed to be for, of being a Deltan. He fooled Tunumbu that came to Delta State twice with Omagege poster. Hmm. Oh, guy, it is not true. Omagege even failed most places because of what his boy did during the presidential election. You said he was standing and voting for BT during the election. So with that, the obedience of the PDP not paid him back during the governorship election. So he failed both fully because of Tunumbo. Hmm. Okay, Tunumbo and Omagege did meet together in his residence. Omagege will return to his home country, Urugun, after May 29th. He thought he's clever. Oh my God, which posting even Joseph? Okay, it's like he's in the Senate. Okay. Okay. Who did you campaign for? Because I did not see you campaigning for Tunubu candidates in Delta State. You worked for Okawa Ikaman to be VP. Oh my God, campaigned for Tunubu anywhere he goes during the election. So this person who is coming to blow the whistle. Omo. <laughs> okay, you go cut. <laughs> if you are blowing the whistle, say that they will recognize you. Make sure, say, you not get any skill and inside your cover do. That is the thing. If you want to report person, make sure say your own hand. They're very clean and spotless. So that if they look, check, look, check again, look, you go be saying nothing day because if something day or burning, what's the law? It has gone. Cairo, this is a big lie. What do you plan to achieve with these frivolous allegations of yours? I never knew you were like this. Hey, may God have mercy on you. Be small, hey, may God have mercy on you. There ought to come a time in life of a man who has enjoyed grace and mercy of God to try and stand for truth and be the people. What has APC done in the last eight years that will make a sane human being to campaign for it? We will all die one day and leave this world who Ojugbo has been in politics for years. When will he be tired of wickedness to the people? My dear, direct the question to the right person. <laughs> no, 
the director give me her bed. Okay. Hmm. Cairo is a complete is a confused pol politician. Omage campaign for Tony in Worry Stadium. Cairo Jibo was not sent there. Omage campaign for Tony candidacy throughout the election in Peru. And the thing is, I was hearing about Omage. Omage was on virtually everywhere Tony went. So how you use get time, get alliance with Tony work with them. Huh. Uh, this even this this the this thing is fake. Oh, could make sense. Cairo hates Omagege because Omagege did not support him when he diverted NDDC COVID-19 palliative. Okay, the truth will come out. You see why they say if you won't come as I can't talk. Make you make sure see your handle, your Lego, everything they clean. Alright, after election, no more campaign. Abiu, what do you expect from a mass snatcher? A thief is a thief. A ragi vagabond for that matter. A man who imparted thugs from worry to the Senate floor to snatch, mess, and desecrate the legislature in a bid to frustrate Buhari impeachment, only to be rewarded with DSP position. A bad example for worrying you to emulate. Voila. Everybody is just complaining. Everybody just they thought anything a lie. Oh, guy, if not me be you, I'm going to bury my face in shame. Oh. No jokes. And no capping. I go bury my face in shame, they go ask, because this thing, will this matter where I come? You don't back, they call them Operation Back to Sender. Dr. Cairo, I'll be waiting you call yourself. Please stop all this, your notice me attitude, and let's wait the betterment of our state being Delta. If you have personal issue with OV or Magege, it is never a reason for stretching forth your fingers to the federal level. That is never your business. Just let everybody face their own case, for Delta is Delta. So let us put her together to settle these election issues here in our state. Ta, ta. He has personal issues with Agege when he diverted COVID-19 palliative with the NDDC. You see why they talk and see, 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 nothing will beat integrity. Nothing will beat say then come your cupboard. They open and you know saying, ah, the feeling is. Uh, you don't understand how the feeling is. They come, they may accuse you. They come, look for your cobbles, and they don't meet you, then get the opportunity scatter everywhere. They don't see one thing about you. It is sweet. That kind of thing is sweet. It means that you get integrity. The, whether it is true or not, I want this man to know that Peter B won not based by any agreement. The Delta people prefer Peter B than any other presidential aspirant. This is why this man should join the Delta people to fight for the recovery of the mandate given to His Excellency Peter B. Not also that it is not only their trusted but the whole nation. The everybody here is saying this man, you will be say chop palliative for here. You will be saying this ah. like I said, if Nami be this man, I go disappear, I go carry my face down because Nami don't na don't mess up. Alright, on this note you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>